Hello loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Melody. Hey look, a new subscriber. And this is the first time you're seeing me here on YouTube. Thank you very much for stopping by. But if not, hi, welcome back again. Either way, please do all to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you get more videos like this. So today is Book Review Friday. And if you don't know what Book Review Friday is, it is a Friday where I come off here and, you know, I review helpful and useful books for you guys. So if you have any book that you haven't read and maybe you're thinking about reading and you want me to review for you please leave it in the comment section and one last thing for those of you who will be checking out these books and watching this video to the end and maybe you're not opportunity immediately to get the books that i'll be recommending you can go ahead and click the link in the description and you can get these books for free either on amazon audible or on kindle so yeah without further ado let's just get into today's video so for today the book we'll be reviewing is crush your insecurities by jc ragnar i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but then this is a self-help book that talks about overcoming your insecurities and you know building self-confidence as a whole so if you're interested you know in such a thing please stay tuned and watch this video to the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up now this book um you know is centered around those people who are big on insecurities like okay your insecurities is getting the best of you what is the next step what can you do about it how can you know you take a step to change your life if this is holding you back we have you know people that have insecurities and it's not letting them achieve their full potential so how are we going to take a step to ensure that yes we know what we're doing yes we progress and you know we take the bull by the horn and we do what we're supposed to do that is what this book actually addresses have you ever been in a situation where you just want to tell your insecurities to just get out of your face immediately you are going to get those steps when you know you finally read this book and like i said again if you want to check out this book for free click on the link in my description you can either get it on audible or amazon kindle so yeah go ahead and check it out so we're going to be reviewing the four sections that this book is divided into on how you can actually crack that insecurity and build a confident life that you're going to be proud of on the long run so let's go ahead and check out number one so the section one the first section of this book is really just talking about understanding insecurities so what do you think these insecurities are and you know what are their effects on you what have you suffered because of these insecurities what has been that step that you have taken backwards because oh you're insecure about something you're not sure about it you're not 100% certain that yes this thing will work or I'm worthy of this whatever your insecurity is you know unleashing on you what is that when you put it on the table when you give it a name you point it out you recognize it that's the only way you tend to want to solve this problem of insecurity so I wanted to actually make a video earlier about insecurities and I thought to myself yeah exactly like what am I going to say on my insecurities I don't think that I'm going to like have to point it out at once. Sometimes it just comes that some things you don't even realize that you're insecure about. They just pop up from nowhere and then you begin to recognize them bit by bit. And another thing is all of these steps are not something that you wake up and you do in a day or you do in a week. Then these are things that you know they will take time it's a development process you don't build a house in a day you start from the foundation you in fact you, you start from surveying yeah and then you know you check out everything you look at it and then you see is this okay to build on is this okay to raise my structure on? if you don't have like a good land surface of self you would not be able to build anything on top of what you're trying to do so you have to be able to survey and know what is the problem how has this affected my life what are the implications of this insecurity and then that is when you give it a name you know how to tackle it by 
you know, by the horn or whatever it's called. For the first section, it does talk about recognizing the insecurity, understanding it. Where did it come from? Where, where, what was the origination of this insecurity? You know, was it from childhood? Was it from a job that you got? Was it from a relationship? I've watched um, a couple of videos here on YouTube. Um, the, the people, they talk about, you know, how being in a toxic relationship, not necessarily the person beating you or, you know, a domestic violence kind of relationship. It's like you are in a relationship where this person constantly talks down on you. Like there is no means of encouragement from this person. This person only sees the bad in you or sees ways that, you know, it's okay to see ways that one can improve when you're in a relationship with them. I like kudos to those people who, you know, are there for you and tell you this is the place where you need to improve with them. Constantly talking down on someone, never accepting them as they are and wanting to build them better. You just want to always talk down on them and then highlight their mistakes and sometimes your insecurities will spring from these things. Or maybe you had a job, you put in your best, everything was supposed to be perfect according to how it was in your head and then your employer was not this best person or this good employer and then he made you, he or she made you feel like, you know, you're not worth it or you're not doing the job as you should. Definitely there are ways that you can improve but then if you are in a situation where you're being talked down, that can also, you know, bring up insecurities in one's life. And that is why you need to recognize where are these insecurities coming from? What are the origins? Is it from childhood? Is it from a relationship? Is it from a job? Is it from partnership? Whatever and wherever this um, insecurities brings up from, that is how you should address it. So yeah, that is the first idea that this book is actually giving to its readers. If you don't recognize it, you're not going to be able to solve it. So the number two section of this book is talking about developing self-awareness. Now you want to be able to recognize, okay, now I've heard this person say this, now I've gone through this situation, now I've seen this person say that oh, um, I'm not worth it or you know everything I have is just luck or I was handed things or whatever you know your insecurities came from you recognize that this is what someone has said this is what someone did to me now be aware of yourself what truth is there in that thing that that person said what truth is there in that thing that that person did to you like be aware are, are you are you agreeing with the person are you agreeing with that statement are you agreeing with that childhood trauma are you agreeing with that thing that that person you know like sometimes it might also be from ourselves like you go ahead and look at the mirror and you feel like no you're not beautiful enough or you know you're not tall enough or you're not short enough i get that um i was i was talking to a friend and then i was just looking at myself and i was like no i don't have a mirror in my room because if i did and i looked at the mirror in my room i would freeze why because i am too fine i was just saying it and you're like Maybe you're mad. <laughs> Maybe you're mad or something. But it's like sometimes all of those little things, you know, they come together to make you understand your own personal value. You don't need somebody to, even though you had somebody tell you that you're not worth it, you don't need somebody to tell you that you're worth it. You don't need somebody to rewire you. You need to tell yourself. You tell yourself the most truth. If I would agree, you tell yourself. You can't lie to yourself. You know when you're pretending. But then again, you know when you are there. You know when you were that person. And that is one thing that you have to run with no matter what. So try and be self-aware, you know. Try and know who you are. Because if you're lost, anybody can say anything and you would assume that it's truth. Like, they can just spirit trash and you will say yeah um i guess i'm seeing this part of what they're saying as as a reality whereas in, in real reality that's not the truth but because you don't even know yourself you don't even know who you are you don't know who you are as a person you don't know who you are in christ you don't know your purpose you don't know how wonderfully and how specially you were created on this planet and yeah that, that, that's a really big problem when you don't know you people give you terrible definitions of yourself and it just it just becomes a problem so please please get to know yourself be self 
aware that is what the second section of this book is actually talking about and now on to the third section of this book the third section of this book is the main part talking about building self-confidence now this part highlights some of the things that you can do to make sure that yes when you step into that room you know that this is what you're worth you know that this is what you have to offer you know that there's more to you than anything anybody has said there's more to you than the negative talks you have also told yourself um i recently just did a video from the last book review friday on atomic habits and then talking about building a certain habit in counter to the old old habit that that one might have and i use this whole example of someone who wants to be a more positive talker and you know extend more grace to themselves do these things and ensure that yes this is what you're doing to achieve this be able to know that yeah this is who i am and you know i'm going to to do better i'm going to do better than i've ever done so if you're that person that has always been speaking to yourself badly and maybe that's where your insecurities they come up from then there's a lot of changes to actually do so um the third section talking about building self-confidence it talks about you creating achievable goals don't go over the top start small and i have said this before there is nothing like small achievements they are called baby steps for a reason and if you don't see the milk teeth you're not going to expect anything else and this is reality if you don't see those baby steps you're not going to expect anything else so those things build you they build you to the person that you're supposed to be they build you to the person that you really really are supposed to be so just put that in mind and just understand that yes this is who you are and um, you should walk walk actively towards that so you set achievable goals you congratulate yourself be able to celebrate yourself because to an extent i feel like when we say that we love people or like we want to give people accolades no matter what they do they're always right in our eyes so when you want to build self-confidence you want to be able to praise yourself celebrate your accomplishments have a little bit of mercy for yourself don't always push yourself to the impossible yes you would test your limits yes you will get out of your comfort zone but if it doesn't work don't beat yourself up and it, it's not going to make sense nobody likes nobody likes a person that's always down you, you don't you don't look confident when you're always your shoulders are always down you don't look confident but you look confident when even when the world is falling apart you're there you're just there what's the worst that could happen next and then the worst happens and then you're just there what's the worst that could... <laughs> i'm not saying do not make um, you know active efforts to ensure that your life gets better but you guys understand what i'm talking about don't just sit there and act like the entire world is against you when it's not so yeah that is really what the third part is talking about do not bash yourself at every chance you get at every failure to not bash yourself it, it, rather I would, I would really feel like when you fail you tend to gain more experience because if you just keep winning sometimes you might forget because if you just keep winning sometimes you might forget but then when you when you face setbacks that is when you realize yes i i, I have to change something you understand so yeah show more grace to yourself be more compassionate to yourself and celebrate your achievements um, create you know achievable goals don't go over the top sometimes it's good to dream big but then have a plan for it don't just set yourself up for disaster and then blame yourself at the end of the day you will never get confident with that sort of attitude so that is actually the third part um the third section of this book this is what it was really highlighting and talking about so the fourth part of this book is really talking about maintaining the confidence so if you got it to the point where okay now i i now um attack my goals as they are now i have better plans now i speak to myself more nicely i extend more grace i've done all of these things you know that this book has asked me to do what next maintain your self-confidence level it should only go up from there yes there are days where you would have setbacks yes there are days where you would have you know low moments but what do you do do you now slouch again and be like oh the world has crushed on my head no you put up your shoulders and you ask yourself what is the worst that can actually happen and in most cases the worst would happen and the world will still 
things. So yeah, that is what you should, that's the mentality you have. When you're trying to be a confident person, your only motto should be positivity. There should be more grace than explosions. Your only motto should be positivity. If it did not happen today, it will happen tomorrow, it will happen next week, it will happen next month, it will happen next year. But one thing is for sure, it will happen. And it's not like um, anybody is trying to set you up for laziness because at the end of the day, if you don't achieve anything at all, then where is the confidence? But then if you take practical steps and take it as slowly as your, as your system allows it, then I mean, you start building confidence in no time, I mean. Just have more grace on yourself. Even when you have setbacks, even when you have the low moments, even when you have the bad days, put up your shoulders. What is the worst that can happen? And if the worst happens, that's not the worst that can actually happen. So yeah, so whether you are struggling with self-doubt or fear of failure or you know negative thoughts or negative comments to yourself, this book is really a one-stop shop to like, navigate you through that part of life and try to help you to get out of it in reality and yes thank you very much for watching this is the end of the video um, as regards to this book i'm probably going to be doing more um confidence related book in this series so if you want to you know check it out please subscribe to my channel and go ahead to leave recommendations if you have any whether it's finance spirituality self-development or you know personal development whatever it is please go ahead and leave comments in the comment section and i'm going to attend to it thank you very much guys for watching and yeah i remain your beautiful very very beautiful youtuber <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you very much once again for watching.